Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Drew Minock. And I'm Brad Wade. Uh, we're from Two Guys and Some iPads.com. That is our blog. And we also have a podcast on the EdReach Network. It is called? It is called The Two Guys Show. And uh, we broadcast every week on Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern. So uh, you can connect with us through uh, our blog. And you can check us out on our show on the EdReach Network. You can also get a hold of us through Twitter. Uh, I am tech Bra at Tech Brad Wade. And I'm at Tech Minock. So definitely reach out to us on there if you have any questions um, after doing this presentation. Absolutely. Well, today we're going to be doing game-changing apps. Um, so we're going to show you some different apps that we use in our classrooms and in the education system that truly have been making a difference. So we're going to show you the app. We're going to tell you a little bit about it. And then after the presentation, we invite you to go check them out some more. Absolutely. So the first one we're going to start with is called CargoBot. It is an app, which you can't see. But it is an app to teach kids the basics of coding. It is for an elementary school um, setting. And what it does, it is more of a drag and drop your commands. So you can, it's for the iPad only, by the way. And it is sponsored by code.org. So go ahead and explain just a little bit about it. So I'll try and Okay. It All right. Cargo Bot. It's a it's a great coding game for kids. As Drew said, it's it's sponsored by Code.org, which is a movement to get coding back into the schools, get into the schools. Uh, so if you go to the website, you can see different places to go to get apps for your students, depending on your population, and then things you can do as a teacher to bring coding into your building. We'll see if Drew shows up a little better. I don't know. There we go. This is Cargo Bot. Okay, and it's loading right now. It was the only, I believe it's the only, it was, it's definitely the first was, one, the first, the first app ever created solely on an iPad using another app called Codea, which allows you to uh, code and create games um, that you can put into the App Store, actually. That one is $9.99, but CargoBot is free. CargoBot is, is free, yeah. We love free. Yeah. So we recommend going through the tutorials with the students. Each one of these tutorials will give you a sample, or teach you each kind of like little thing about the game, each step that you need to do, tricks of the trade, I guess. Mm -hmm. And you just drag and drop commands. That's one of the beautiful things about this is because we're dealing with kids, it has the drag and the drop. As you see, as Drew just goes, he just grabs one of those arrows off and drops it in a slot. Well, the commands, all of a sudden, when you hit go, the commands, the computer will carry out the commands. As you can see, you're, tra you're training this this uh, robot, this cargo mm -hmm. handler, to move across. Now, obviously, that was a simple example, but uh, you know, we're basically teaching the fundamentals and uh, preparing kids to learn how to code. And it's not only digital, which um, this is an amazing app, but this is another analog version that you can use, which is absolutely awesome. And we don't just have kids do one or the other. We, we pair the analog sheets, which looks like this. Um, they're laminated, so the kids just need a dry erase marker. And this is something Drew created. This has been created by us. This is not on the app. And then they have each level, so it tells you where you start and then where you finish or what the goal is of that specific level. And um, we created one of these for each level. So that way, since we share 10 iPads, if Brad has the iPads in his classroom, my kids can grab the level that they are on and then problem solve this, if they think they got it, then they can come up and plug it into my teacher iPad to see if they solved it correctly. But it's also great because it stops that just plug and guess, you know, kind of, I don't know, yeah. method. Yeah, yeah, you know, like, you know, it's sometimes just trial and error, but you know what, kids, you know, they, they want to get feedback right away, and we know in this day and age of instant gratification, uh, we want to kind of make sure that's not what's happening. So, you know, like any other lesson, when you bring this up, it's all what you put into it and how you approach it and teach them how to use it. Drew and I, we worked uh, very closely with our classes when we introduced it. We went over the expectation with them and how we expect them to use it, uh, you know, both using the iPads, you know, and then also using the analog version. Uh, and the, one of the great things about this app is it's really great uh, it's not gender specific. Uh, girls love it as much as boys do. Um, and it's also great because students on the low end, maybe students with special education needs, and then students all the way up on the high end, you know, gifted and talented, and everybody in between. Uh, there's levels for everybody. And don't be surprised what your students may show you or show you that they're capable of doing. Um, you know, it's just amazing. Absolutely. Uh, the next app that we're going to talk about is a teacher productivity app, but it also creates digital portfolios and then allows you to share them with parents in a very secure fashion. So the app that we're going to be talking about is Three Ring. And that's, th that's Three Ring, the, spelling out the word three, R-I-N-G. 
It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, so what it does is it comes up like this. If you put your class in first on the computer, I'll just touch my class. The students come up. I touch whatever student I want, and then I select the tag, whatever tag we're doing. And then it gives me an option to where I can pick uh, pictures already on my device. I can take a video right then and upload it, a picture. I can type a quick note or do an audio recording, and it instantly uploads it in a blog style format with each student tagged with whatever tag you um, you selected. And then you can go into the website and share that with the parents securely so they can only view their child's uh, documentation. Drew, how hard was the setup? What did you have to do to set it up? It takes about two minutes to set up. All you need to do is go to 3 click on Teacher. It is free. Again, we love free. Awesome. Um, so you just type in your information, and then you enter your students. It is that simple. To, to do and then you just log into the app we recommend documenting things and capturing moments of learning on the app on the app itself because it, it just uploads a lot easier rather than taking pictures normally and then going back and uploading them and what's another reason we like that well um well some there's a lot of cool things just because you know one thing is is now when you take pictures right inside the app mm -hmm. whether you have Wi-Fi or not because you know like if we're doing it on the phone you know I've got connectivity but if I'm on an iPad that's a school and iPad and I'm out of the room or I'm on a field trip or something I can still take pictures within inside the app and it will upload in the app as soon as I get connectivity I come back to my school boom then it will upload up to uh, up to the the website and into my format where everything will be in there also, Brad had an issue last year where he's taking pictures and just made like a photo album in just in the the photo album on my like iPad, yeah, for each student. So this, <laughs> next thing you know, his whole device is filled up. It was January and of last year, and I came to Drew with this picture. problem, and then we we discovered Three Ring. Actually, Drew discovered it, and uh, that was just amazing because now I don't have to fill up my device. I can upload everything to Three Ring, and here's a couple little tricks of the trade. Okay. Um, like with every student you put an email or two parents email so that's how it knows when you tag a student's name mm -hmm. then it says oh that student goes with this email boom it'll shoot it off here's one of the things um, Drew and I both do this you can do a whole class and like I just call it uh, students or class um, I call it fourth grade class okay yeah. I do it I call it students in class and so what it is it's like one tag but it has every parent email so that way if everybody's in the picture you don't have to tag every student you just tag yeah. the one and then a couple things we've done is we also made our administrator um, in there we made like a, a little you know, administrator so basically a student in our class is identified with our administrators email so if it's something we want to share with our administrator or we have a coordinator here with different things we can share it with them we can tag them and it'll shoot it off to them that way it's easy to share exciting things you do in the classroom because it's hard to run down to their office when you want to share things with them so this is an easy way to do it where you just tag them in the picture just as if they're a student in your classroom and then it sh you can share it and shoot them an email as well. Now, can you make any notes? Can you share anything with parents? Like, if I share something, is there anything? Can I tell them what's going on? That's the great thing is once you share it with the parents, you can comment back and forth. So you can tell them what's going on. They can ask questions back and forth, and that's one of the great things because we're a sustainable school here. So instead of making copies of all these things, we instantly just take a picture, tag all of our parents in it, and then they can view it and ask questions back and forth on there. It's quick. It's easy, and it. That's what we like. We like quick and easy. Now, Drew, free. and now, Drew, I do a lot of anecdotal things. Like, I sent three things home today about students doing their work and stuff like that. Snapshots of the day. Yep. I sent a note home to the parents so they can have talking points at dinner. Absolutely. Now, is it only limited to just, like, snapshots of the day? Are there other things I can capture? That's a great thing. We, we use it on field trips. So, literally, those parents that cannot make it on that field trip, they can feel like they're there. They feel like they're a fly on the wall, as one parent emailed me and said she literally feels like a fly on the wall in her child's classroom. And that's important because a lot of the parents can't get into the classroom and volunteer and do those things. So this gives them the ability to feel like they're there. What about assessments? Um, is there anything – now, if I, if I take a picture of something, if I take a picture of something, um, do I have to share it with parents? What you if it's not. something I want for myself? You do not have to share it with parents. You okay. You do not have to share it with parents if you do not want to. Okay, so like I can take pictures of assessments that I want. A student did, you know, there was something on the test, and I want to make a note of that. I don't have to show it with parents? No, you can keep it as your own little digital portfolio if you want. You do not have to share it with parents. If now, you want to. now also, yeah. Also, you can put the students' emails in there for older grades. So if you, yeah. like in high school and things like that, if you want to share it with parents, 
or with the students as well as the parents, it, you can do that as well. Yeah, because there's a button that says share with parents, share with students. Um, I have a high schooler, and I'm always impressed with how much communication he has with his teachers in his Absolutely. school. Um, so if you teach at a, a, a higher grade or a high school or something like that, and you're communicating with students, there is that option because there might be some things you share with students and other things you share with parents only. Absolutely. So yeah. you know, it's great for students that are collaborating on projects. They can kind of comment back and forth in that same section as well because they'll all be tagged in it. So, Drew, projects. so what if I'm sitting down with a parent at a parent-teacher conference? Um, can I retrieve any of that to share with parents? That's a great thing, too. Good point because you can just search at the top for that student and then everything because as a teacher, I have everyone's pictures in here. But when I type in their name, then all of their information um, comes up. And then if I want just their math, let's say I type in the student's name, math, everything I've tagged in math comes up. So it gives me a quick reference to look at when I'm talk and talking points during parent-teacher conferences or if I'm doing report cards, progress reports, things like right. that. Right. Are we limited to one tag or can I put multiple You can put tags as many it? tags on it as you want. It's, it is really a great app and highly recommend it. It absolutely is. It's highly recommended by us. We both use it and uh, check it out. I think you'll, you'll be very surprised and fall in love with it. Absolutely. All, All right. right. We're going to dive into some augmented reality things real quick here. Um, one of the first ones, obviously, is Erasma. Uh, what is augmented reality, Drew? Augmented reality is the ability to take the digital world and tag it into a static image or thing, like an overlay. It's like a QR code on steroids is one way we kind of like right. to explain it. Another way is imagine you're walking through the halls of Hogwarts, and the pictures on the wall, they're not just pictures. They're alive. They're interactive, things like that. So that's kind of what augmented reality gives you the opportunity to do is to bring learning to life in a way like never before, and, it, and we've seen the power of it in our classroom. Absolutely. Um, so we're going to show you a couple things. One, we're going to show you just a, a couple different apps quickly. We may just mention them by name. Um, apps that already exist, and we'll tell you if they're free or not. Most of them are, but that already exist that you can go out and you can download and get the marker or the target mm -hmm. and start using in your class. You know, there's different ones. There's math, there's science ones, and so on. And then we're going to show you an app. We're going to talk about how you can create something and make uh, – make augmented reality happen in your classroom. And one thing I like to say is bring old lessons to life because, you know, Drew, teachers have been doing amazing things for many years in the classroom, and this yep. is their opportunity to take a lesson that's already excellent and then just put another level of engagement on there. Because what do we see happen with students with their engagement when we the bring engagement in AR? engagement literally goes to the roof because it's like magic. Uh, not only to the students, but a lot of the teachers that we've talked to are, are just as blown away as the students are when we use it. So that's a great thing is the ability to bring these lessons to life and make them more engaging, and then it makes the time on task yeah, that it, much longer. Yeah, you which, know, so. you know, as a teacher, if we can engage students even more and their time on task is longer, the longer that's that's we can't ask for much more than that. Have you found this kind of lifted your spirits and got your passion going? Oh, man, and this, it, nothing gets me fired up more than some good augmented reality apps or, or applications the way people are using it in the classroom. Uh, we love hearing different stories from uh, people sharing them with us through our PLN on Twitter, mm -hmm. and it's it's real powerful. So we're just going to talk about a few apps that you can use and kind of how we use them and then how you can create it real quick. And if they want more information, what can they do after this? Definitely go, go to our blog on twoguysandsomeipads.com with video tutorials and all this kind of information. Yeah, so everything we mentioned is there, and even stuff we haven't mentioned will be there. So because we're up against the clock, we're going to just mention a few, and hopefully with this we can give you a good idea of what you can do in your classroom to truly, truly transform learning. And we believe that you're going to find you're going to renewed passion for teaching and learning, and you're going to see the excitement of your students. Absolutely. So we're going to start at the lower level, um, early childhood, and we'll kind of work our way up. Perfect. So two apps for um, early childhood setting is AR flashcards. Mm -hmm. It's just flashcards for uh, letter recognition. They just look like normal flashcards. But when you use the augmented reality, on top of it, a 3D figure like an A for alligator pops out of the flashcards, and then it, you know, it's great for letter recognition, keeping it kids is. on task. And the other one is AR flashcards again, but the AR flashcards space. It does the planets, the whole solar system with great information about them, and, and these are awesome. these are at a nice lower level. So it's for you know kindergarten, first, second grade, so something like that. Absolutely. Um, they're very engaging, and just think about it. You know, uh, static uh, flashcards. You know, you might have color ones, or whatever, but they don't do much after you put them on the table, and it's hard to keep little Johnny sitting in his seat past A, B, C. And then, you know, now with this level of engagement, as Drew mentioned, you've get, you have 3D models coming to life, and you can even have a couple on there, and the students hit the, hit the uh, picture, and then it talks to them. Excellent. 
So definitely check out both those by Michelin Media. The next one is Color Mix, C O L capital A R Mix, and this is a an engaging coloring activity that you can definitely manipulate and change to uh, really bring learning to life on their curricular activities. Let's yeah, talk about that, Brad. Absolutely, Color AR, and you can see a lot more about it on our blog. It's absolutely it's one of the hottest things out there. And the great thing is, is you know what? You're only limited by your creativity. We use this to inspire creative writing. Uh, yes. We brought them out, uh, and so now we've had students color these pictures with their own flavor, their own taste, and then we bring them to life. And now they have an image to go with their story. And you talk about being inspired to do creative writing. The kids are on task even longer. They love to create the stories. They're passionate about it, and they even love to share them afterwards. Uh, students that dorm, don't normally like to share were loving it and wanted to write more. Absolutely. Uh, next one is NASA Spacecraft 3D, or 3D Spacecraft, yep. which is one marker. So you can have multiple kids checking out multiple different spacecrafts. Um, unbelievable detailed this app with NASA and again that one's free as well yeah absolutely highly recommended now we're getting up to the middle school high school actually you can use NASA spacecraft any uh, any level color AR any level I think even the high schoolers would enjoy coloring um, you'll have to check it out though definitely uh, another one is Daiquiri they um, they come up with a lot of things with anatomy 4d that app that is more um, higher high school and then mm -hmm. even to um, the college level of learning right. um, next thing is a planets app it's augmented reality it's an app that we helped uh, develop mm -hmm. where you can actually bring the solar system and put it right on your table. Absolutely. It's it's fascinating. Uh, we were lucky enough to get with the developer who had the vision and we worked with him on this and we said if we could put the planets on your table that'd be fascinating and so we've done that. So what you have it's going to be out in a couple weeks. Uh, by the time this rolls out it should be out real mm -hmm. soon. Um, look for it in the App Store. The great thing is is you can bring any plant to life on your desk and get more information. So that's going to be you know a, an upper L middle school and a high school level. And the last one, real quick, is Erasma, which is an open source app that allows you to create your own augmented reality or have your students create it. Um, you can create it on the device or online on a computer using the Studio account. Um, real quick, what's the difference between the Studio account and on the app? Okay, well, if you do things, you know, we call it device specific, yep. and then on the if you're using it on your computer, um, if you create it on the device, it's going to be on the devices. Yep. Okay, um, and you know, I. Out of Drew and I, I do a lot more on the device. He does a lot on the devices, but he does a lot on the computer as well. Um, if you want quick, down, and dirty, and just get them on, get students on, do something quickly, use the device. Yep. Once you get more comfortable, you can do amazing things with the computer. And we can't go too deep into that right now, but there are absolutely amazing resources and tons of things you can view on our blog. Uh, with, and you look under AR Tutorials. Yes, there's tutorials on each step of the way on how to follow channels, create channels, create auras, everything that every step you need can you give them an example of like something we've done in the classroom using Erasmus and kind of get an image of what they could do absolutely homework assignment so we send home a standard you know worksheet that goes home with our word with our uh, with our math each day so we just tag a quick mini lesson minute and a half mini lesson over top of it for those students who struggled that day with the concept or you know need a little extra help Absolutely, and here's an example that we've also done. Um, just think of taking any student work that has detail. Like mm -hmm. we, I teach third grade, he teaches fourth. We did a perspective piece in writing. If the students also colored a picture, so what they did is their final draft. They had on nice paper, but they also had a picture to go with it. We used that as our target or our trigger image. Took mm -hmm. a picture of that. Well, we had also created a video. I let the, we let the students talk yep. about their picture. Sometimes you can have them read the story or just tell them what the inspiration was behind it. So the cool thing is you marry those two and you tie them. And then, like, when you put the device up to it, you can get another level of engagement and experience. You put it up to that picture, and all of a sudden there's the student coming out talking about their journey or their story. Absolutely. It's real powerful. So give these apps a try. Hopefully they'll change the game in your classroom because they definitely have changed the game for us. Absolutely. So please uh, enjoy it. Check out our blog. If you have questions, feel free to hit us up on Twitter. We're out there. We'll be happy to talk to you, and we wish you the best on everything. Definitely. Thank you. All right. Thank you.